of Podgan performance by the uh, drama students from Dhaka University was absolutely superb. It, it wasn't actually a traditional pop song. Uh, they made a riff off a traditional pop song and went into an issue that needed to be resolved and they drew the audience into debating on that particular issue in an extremely effective manner. In the end, the audience were the theatre and the theatre were the, the audience. And they did that very, very cleverly. I, mu I was very impressed. The songs were very nice, very interesting, popular. Uh, but the most important and most impressive was the way they turned the audience into participants uh, by engaging on an issue of reality on the ground. Uh, and this audience are particularly scientists working on theory rather than practice. And they had a great deal of difficulty dealing with a real problem on the ground and came up with all kinds of theoretical solutions which would not help uh, the problem on the ground that they were being faced with. And they realized that and they were made to realize that. And that was an extremely effective uh, means of drawing the audience into a discussion. One of the participants who works with uh, both scientists and uh, slum dwelling communities in India told me afterwards, I don't know if she talked to you, but she told me that she's going to go back and do this. And she said one of her problems is getting scientists to actually talk in a language that normal people can understand. Even if they're taken down there, they don't communicate well with the communities. And so forcing them into making real choices about real problems and then seeing how deficient their science is in that context is very, very important. I think what I learned was that you can dramatize in very, very human terms what is a very complex issue, namely the issue of migration, people losing their livelihoods and their land and moving to the cities. In this particular case, Dhaka City as an example, a very overcrowded city that migrants are moving to in the millions. Um, and so it humanizes what otherwise would be a fairly complex and uh, difficult to understand and theoretical uh, and technical issue. And, and I felt that they did that very, very well. It's not about enjoyment. It's about how penetrating to the emotional self this performance was. It was not a sense of enjoyment as in joy. It was a, a very, very powerful, viscerally palpable experience. One was there and there were moments where it was very comfortable, daily life. Uh, the actors successfully immersed us in the daily life of someone who is not having an easy time. And there were very um, powerful moments, the mother crying for not knowing how the child is. Uh, but then when the director intervened and gave us the choice, what do you do? Do you clean the drainage or do you that means do you sacrifice this group or that group? It is the, the magnificent manifestation of the consequence of choice. In this performance, we the audience were invited to inhabit that choice and to feel the consequence. That person has no home to sleep tonight. What are we going to do? What emerged in the dynamics of the conversation with as usual, some members of the audience giving all the answers, some asking relevant questions, some not seeing through the disagreements, the desire to take over the discussion. That's what we do. And the fact that this invitation to become from audience to participant to essentially performers. I like the last comment by Atik. We were performers in this and we cared. This made us care. And that's something that neither science nor policy is successful at doing. We have been trained into the belief that only certain forms of inquiry are valid. And it is very clear that the visceral, palpable, physical nature of what happens, I could feel in my guts the shout of the performance uh, when the child was missing. It felt here. It wasn't just here or here. And we in the climate community, we in the development community, we in the scientific community need to remember that there is a reason why performance was the earliest form of communication. It's because it reaches us. It reaches us at a level that is more likely to motivate action. Uh, so yes, by all means, I think 
I'm not going to say that it should be mandatory to all science students, <laughs> but I would encourage anyone who has an, an option to try to experience through alternative ways beyond graphs and equations and reports. What I most liked about this instance, and I hope I can uh, help spread, is to create this magical moment where what we observe becomes what we influence. That, that moment was very powerful. We as audience became aware that we can change something. It brings it into that emotional level, which I think is really important. Um, it's, um, someone just said interactive, but it's interactive in a way that, um, I mean, it's not necessarily interactive in terms of you getting into the action, but it just, it's, it's, it's just a different communication. It speaks on different, it, it speaks to you on different levels. It's like an emotional level on a actual facts, on a examples, on a real life. It, it just, it, it hits you in, in multiple different um, different ways. For me, it's the having it down on the ground as opposed to these buzzwords of like, this is what it means, this is how it comes down to you and me and how this affects the people that live in your, in your city and live around you. I enjoyed it very much and the, the aspect that I found, found really useful and fascinating was the interaction, the way the play broke down into uh, an interaction with the audience. Um, in, in fact, I thought that that could have happened at several points during the play uh, and then open it up to a final discussion right at the end as it did. But I think there were possible stopping points earlier where it could have opened it up and then gone back into the play. But I thought it was a very, very good um, uh, performance and a very good way of doing it. And I think you could get a sense of the enjoyment that people were getting. And it wasn't just enjoyment of the experience, it was actually making people think about the, the issues that were involved. It was especially useful in looking at the way in which the idea of community is used by many people. Um, because in that short play, I counted at least six different kinds of conflicts going on between people in this supposed community. Uh, does it lead me to do anything differently in what I do? Well, I, I think the involvement of people in what we do is is crucially important and I think actually demonstrating to the people that we work with and supposedly we're trying to help that they get something back from it as well and I think this is a way of potentially doing that showing that what we've done is useful for them. Well, this particular play uh, was actually very fantastic it was quite informative in terms of really sharing with the researchers uh, like me and the practitioners, policy makers and also the community representatives on uh, what actually the vulnerable communities are facing uh, uh, at the back at home. And secondly, one thing I learned is that it's not easy to come up with a solution. So it means that getting a solution requires a multi-sectoral uh, approach. It requires all the players to come on board to participate from the word go, especially in developing the short term and mid term and long term uh, solutions. But I realized the live performance, especially through drama, it's really emotional. I got really emotional. I was like, why should we, in why, why are we depriving um, uh, the vulnerable people their rights? As a, as a researcher, I should be very proactive in terms of coming up with a solution. I should be innovative enough. So it really tested my skills. It tested my capacity as a researcher. It tested my capacity as a human being to really learn to respond to the plights of the community or for those people who are poor and vulnerable, especially to climate change. And this is one of the ways actually to really, uh, one of the ways on, that are very good, very innovative in terms of sharing information with those people who don't even understand your language.